Hello and welcome back. Tonight we're looking at a Colt model 1911 that was produced in 1918 during World War I. Now, this pistol here is still in excellent shape for 97 years old. Its uh, bluing is about 98%. It's in just beautiful shape for uh, being as old as it is. And uh, still looks great today. But the reason I have this pistol out tonight is I wanted to show you a couple of changes that were approved by the Ordnance Department on April 29th of 1918 to help speed up production. Now the two changes are, you can see right here these this opening underneath the uh, grips here in the frame um, is got what is called a heart-shaped opening. And what has happened here is when they milled this out, they take their pass and they go ahead and they just leave this protrusion here, just one less step on the uh, receiver here as it's being manufactured. And uh, this little point here is actually pretty sharp. But uh, just one less thing to have to do in the uh, manufacturing process that helps speed them up. So the other production change that took place was the hammer here on the uh, thumb uh, grip here. It has uh, the checkering that has been... Uh, changed and what it does is you can tell that this is a changed one because it has no border on it and uh, this was another small thing that was done to uh, speed up production now these production changes took place at about 375,000 serial range and this pistol being in the 421,000 range of course has both those modifications done to it and now while I have this pistol out, there's a couple of other interesting things on it that I wanted to go ahead and show you. The inspection mark here, which is going to be virtually impossible to see on camera, I had to actually get a magnifying glass out to be able to see this, but this right here is the Type 1 Eagle's Head inspection mark, and that was used May 15th of 1918 through April of 1919. And uh, while I'm talking about marks on these, we can see an assembler's mark down here, a number 24. And I don't have the key, and it's impossible to memorize all the different ones, but you'll find these inspection marks um, on the pistols in various locations, sometimes by the uh, disconnector in the top of the receiver. Um, you'll find them in the slide, but uh, those are assembler marks, and sometimes they'll be letters, sometimes they'll be numbers. And then the other thing that's interesting about this pistol is it now has the uh, standardized slide configuration that took place at about oh, serial number 290,000. And the rampant Colt is now in between the patent dates and Colt's address here. Now in the 1912 Navy that I showed in another video, the uh, rampant Colt was back here in a circle on the back of the slide. So that's uh, one of the other changes that took place. And then um, the radius up here on the uh, the uh, recoil spring housing changes a little bit. This is a little bit longer, and um, in the earlier production, it was a tighter, sharper radius right here. So those are some of the uh, production changes that have taken place. And uh, one other production change, uh, we now see, of course, the squared rear sights on the back of this to help with the alignment issues in knowing when the pistol is being held held level when you're uh, firing it. And uh, I explained that in another video, but there you go. Um, just some small production changes that took place to help speed up production during World War I. And oh, I almost forgot to mention too, you'll find this heart shape opening on some of the uh, uh, receivers that were used after World War I on some government models. And uh, the did that, of course, to use up the remaining stock of the uh, frames. But there you go. Some uh, interesting changes that took place to these early 1911s. All right, hey, thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the video, and have a good evening.